Hi guys, we are back. I have not done a tutorial in a long while. And I decided today is time to get back and going. And today we are doing a mug. Now a mug is something that I haven't really done much of. And I want to show you guys how to do the handles because the handles can be quite a pain. So I'm working on getting my epoxy mixed up here because I forgot to do it before I started this. So just give me a second. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. Been a while since I've done this and got to get back into the flow of getting used to pretending to talk to somebody. So I'm mixing up a little extra epoxy this time because I have other cups I'm getting ready to do at the same time. But I wanted to do this one first, kind of get it out of the way. This is gonna be one of the hot cocoa cups. There. And I got a ding in it. Go figure. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get this covered really good with epoxy. Um, not gonna go too thick on it. Try to put a thin coat on. Now the handle is the harder part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to save the handle for last. So get all up in underneath. Don't forget to get the bottom. Make that extra epoxy when you push it to the top, make sure you, I always use that for the bottom of the cup. That way I don't have a whole bunch of extra in one spot where you have to put extra glitter so it doesn't look wet. Okay, I think I got, oh, no, I don't have it all covered, most of it extra here on the bottom. Okay, what I'm gonna do is stop my turner right at my handle. Right there. Turn just a little bit. So now I'm gonna take all the excess that I can and run it through this handle. Make sure you get down here in the where the handle meets the cup. Let's see if I can turn that a little bit better for you guys. Right up in there. Make sure you get all over this handle because there's all these little bumps and turns and quirky spots in it. Make sure you get it all nice and good. <clears throat> now to get out my glitter color. Got to pull that out too. So today I'm not prepared as I should be. There we go. Now this one I'm using diamonds from Glitter Heart Company. They're my favorite place to get glitter. So what 
I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the glitter on the handle. My workspace is a mess. I need to get down here and clean. But I've had so much other stuff going on that my workspace has suffered when it comes to cleaning. Now I still have that inside of the handle that I have to glitter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it like this some. And then turn it this way because there's the other side of the handle that's not glittered. And I'll work on glittering the rest of the tumbler. tumbler. So you just want to take your time and go around it. Make sure you're getting all aspects of the handle. That's the hardest part with these. Um, they're not my favorite cups to do. But. They are very pretty when they're done. I'm also going to do one with chunky glitter. That's going to be a ton of fun. I'm going to spot right there on the handle. I'm going to tap off all that extra glitter. And don't forget to get the bottom of your cup. I always do the bottom last. That way I can just tip it up like this. And since I don't have my turner on, make sure to spin it. Because there's creases or indents at the bottom of the cup that you want to make sure you get the glitter in. And there we go. That is glittered. I'm going to let it spin for about 10 minutes. <clears throat> and then when it comes time to do the, the next coat on it, I will show you how I do that when I do the flood coat. Because you don't want to get too much excess on the handles when you do these. Because if you have more on the handle than you do the rest of the cup, if you stop it and it's not ready to be stopped spinning you'll have um, <clears throat> a bunch of buildup and drips on the handle itself and you don't wanna have that. So give me a little bit and when this is ready, I will show you how to do the flood coat.